Hi everyone, Infinity here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope that you're doing well. Today's video, I want to show you guys this amazing island. It's called Valencia. It's by Cozy Isles on Instagram. This is a beautiful spring core themed island. It is so cute and I can't wait to share this island with all of you guys. All right, look at me, look at how cute I am. Oh, just adorable. All right, let's take a look at Valencia's map. We've got island creator Joanna, and the villagers are Maple, Melba, Marshall, Ellie, Ozzy, Sylvana, Goldie, Daisy, Coco and Olive. Look at the terraforming. The villagers are just perfect. These villagers are actually similar to my island, Nutmeg, and they would actually be perfect on my island as well. All right, so let's get started with the island tour, starting off right at the entrance. Look at how gorgeous the placement of every single item is. It's just beautiful. And I'm gonna show you guys the little beach to the left here. It's just a cute little shopping area, just right off the beach and right off the entrance. So let's head back and we will go over the bridge and it kind of loops around here. And we're gonna go up and this is actually Joanna's Rep's house. I actually love this island so much because there's so many of these cute little picnic areas, these cute little seating areas all over. The terraforming is just gorgeous on this island. The space fillers are just so creative and so cute. The placement of all of the items, the trees, like everything is just perfect on this island. So if you guys do have an Instagram and you need some inspiration, definitely follow Cozy Isles on Instagram. And you can also come and visit Valencia for yourself. So right behind the main rep's house, we've got a villager house and there's a little lavender field and a lavender farm and just a cute little seating area right on this villager's yard. Look at the house, it is so cute. I'm just going to keep heading back and up this little staircase over here. We've got another villager house. The yards on the villager houses, they're simple, but they are actually perfect. And I'm just going to keep heading back and this will eventually take us to 
the secret beach area. So I saw this cute little seating area and saw that it is tiered so I decided to use the ladder to get up to the second tier up here and somehow managed to jump across the water here and then I couldn't get back. But the view from here is gorgeous, look at that little sunken island and here here is my struggle of trying to get back. I am literally stuck, like there's nowhere for me to go. And so, yeah, like I jumped over, I should be able to jump back, but for some reason I wasn't able to. So here I am crying. And then I had to call rescue services to take me back to resident services which actually worked out because this is like the back of the island I had to get back there anyways so I mean yeah I guess it did work out but it's yeah that was just so stupid of me <laughs> to climb up there all right here we go back to resident services we're gonna head to the left and we are actually going to follow the path this will bring us to that little shopping area off of the beach and look at the view of the main rep house. We're gonna keep going. We've got another little villager house right here. I love like the vintage vibes. This island actually reminds me of my own island, um, Sudsy Cove, because it has like that vintage feel. And it's kind of like a mix of my new island, Nutmeg. And there's a cute little teddy bear picnic right here. I love the bears in the game so much. Look at how shiny Papa Bear's bow is. Like, it's just perfect. And that brings us to Able Sisters. Look at how cute this little picnic area is. I could spend like all day sitting here and like the wind and everything, it's just perfect. All right, let's head over this little bridge. There's another little bakery over here. And in behind this is a volleyball court. And then I will show you the campsite.
The waterscaping beside the campsite is just absolutely gorgeous. I love backwards waterfalls like that. And then look at all these little stepping stone areas that you can check out and look at the view from up here. It is just absolutely gorgeous. So heading towards the back left side of the island, there's this cute little hot springs area with this bathtub. Imagine just sitting here in this like hot tub and just listening to the waterfall and just relaxing here all day. I could spend all day here. And again, the waterscaping and terraforming is just absolutely gorgeous. If you keep following the path over here, it actually brings you right back to the lavender field area and back towards the entrance of the island. So we're just going to keep heading back towards resident services and then we will go behind resident services and check out the right side of the island towards the back. So I took my ladder out to climb up this little spot, but I think there's like a vine here maybe that I climbed up anyways, but look at how cute this is. There's a little camper van here, a little camping spot to just chill and relax. You can hop over to that little island and read a book. It's just, it's adorable. It's perfect. Going up the ramp and to the right, we've got another villager house over here and it's a nursery plant shop. Look at how cute this yard is. I love it. Just hopping over here, look at the view of the ocean from here. Again, so many seating areas, so many hidden little areas that you've got to climb up to actually, you know, get the full effect of how gorgeous this island is. So if you do visit, definitely check out all the little spots. You're going to love it.
This brings us to the museum which is upgraded and there's a little fossil site to the right of the museum. little potato farm in the backyard over here and there is more farming area towards the right of this house that has the nursery look at how cute I'm obsessed with this little farm right here and if you actually keep going there is the river mouth right there and look at the terraforming and the waterscaping around the river mouth so if you guys have if you guys are stuck with what to do with yours, definitely that's actually a great idea. So I'm going to head back down the ramp. We're going to keep going. There's a little shop right here. I love the little spots. They're so cute. I'm going up this ramp. And this right here is a wheat to bread farm. And it's one of the villagers that takes care of this little spot. So I'm going to make my way back through the wheat farm and back down the staircase and I'm going to show you Melba's house and I realized I was carrying my ladder and I didn't want to and look at my little balloon. I love how it like floats behind us when we're walking. So this little area takes us to Melba's house and her private little beach area. And then I'm also going to show you the peninsula. So just following the path to the right here, this brings us to Nooks, which is a little record shop. On the beach, we've got a surf shop. And on the beach to the left, we've got another villager house and a laundry area. And one last spot on this island, we've got a villager house up here. It's a little honey beehive area. Look at how gorgeous this house looks. I'm obsessed and this brings us right back to the entrance. How beautiful is this island? I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this island tour. Thank you so much to Cozy Isles for letting me visit and film this tour for you guys. I'll leave all of the information in the description down below so you can follow along on Instagram and come visit Valencia for yourself. And if you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you leave a like and a comment because it does help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!